What if I told you that a Canadian tech firm just got blacklisted by China for exposing Huawei's secret AI chips? And what if those reports revealed that Huawei was still using foreign components from TSMC, Samsung, and SK Hynix, despite United States sanctions? Is this the start of a new tech cold war between Beijing and the West? Or is China simply fighting back after years of technological restrictions? Before we break this down wherever you are in the world, if you want to stay informed on the most critical tech and AI updates, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Now let's begin. This week, China's Ministry of Commerce made a surprising move. It officially added Tech Insights, a Canada-based semiconductor consultancy, to its unreliable entity list. That means Tech Insights is now banned from doing business in China. Chinese individuals and organizations are prohibited from sharing any form of sensitive data with the firm. Beijing claims the company engaged in malicious activities, including alleged cooperation with Taiwan and Western intelligence operations. But the timing of this ban is what caught the world's attention. It came just days after Tech Insights published a report showing Huawei's newest Ascend AI processors contained foreign components from TSMC, Samsung, and SK Hynix, despite ongoing United States trade restrictions. If you haven't heard of Tech Insights before, they are the world's leading chip detectives. They specialize in teardown analysis, literally taking apart semiconductors and electronics to discover what components are used, where they're made, and who supplies them. Their findings have often made headlines, particularly in the AI chip war. Back in 2023, Tech Insights partnered with Bloomberg to reveal Huawei's Made in China smartphone processor, a chip that rivaled Apple's A-Series and Qualcomm's Snapdragon. It was a shocking moment suggesting that despite years of sanctions, Huawei had found a way to bounce back. But their more recent findings went even deeper, revealing that Huawei's AI processors might still depend on restricted foreign technologies. And that revelation is what likely triggered Beijing's retaliation. According to both United States and Chinese sources, Beijing viewed Tech Insight's report as a direct threat to national security. By exposing Huawei's chip architecture, the company unintentionally revealed how China has been rebuilding its semiconductor ecosystem under United States pressure. In Beijing's eyes, this wasn't just journalism, it was industrial espionage. The Ministry of Commerce accused Tech Insights and other Western firms of working against China's technological sovereignty. In their official statement, they even referenced military technical cooperation with Taiwan, calling the firm's actions hostile and politically motivated. And so Tech Insights was banned. But in the West, the move is being seen very differently. In Washington and Ottawa, many view this as China lashing out after being caught using restricted technology. The United States has already placed Huawei on its entity list since 2019, effectively cutting it off from American semiconductor tools and designs. So, when Tech Insights found TSMC-made chips inside Huawei's latest processors, it raised a serious question, was Huawei circumventing sanctions through third-party channels? Both Huawei and TSMC denied any wrongdoing. But you know, the report once again showed just how deeply intertwined the global chip supply chain remains, even amid a tech war. This incident isn't just about one company. It's about control over information and technology. For China, the Tech Insights case represents a fight for data sovereignty, making sure that no foreign entity can reveal internal technological strategies. For the United States and its allies, it's about transparency understanding how China continues to advance its semiconductor capabilities despite years of sanctions. Meanwhile, Huawei continues to climb higher recently announcing its Ascend AI chips, claiming performance comparable to NVIDIA's H-series GPUs. But now, with Tech Insights banned, independent verification of those claims may no longer be possible inside China. The battlefield isn't just in chip fabrication, it's in information control. Analysts warn this could mark the next phase of the global tech war. 
By blacklisting tech insights, China is sending a message to every foreign researcher and consultant, do not expose our technology or you will be shut out. At the same time, Western governments are likely to respond with new export controls or investigations into Huawei's supply chain. It's a tit-for-tat cycle that shows no signs of slowing down. As independent analyst Chen Jia put it, unauthorized teardowns bring legal and political risks, but they also reveal truths that some nations don't want exposed. The question now is, can Huawei continue its AI momentum without global transparency? And will other firms dare to analyze Chinese chips after what happened to Tech Insights? The tech world is watching closely, because this story isn't just about one consultancy or one company, it's about how far nations are willing to go to protect their technological secrets. So, what do you think did China overreact by blacklisting Tech Insights? Or was this a justified move to defend its semiconductor sovereignty? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you want to stay updated on the global AI and chip war shaping the future, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This is Stock Scop I. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.